A friend of mine has to replace the bearings and the mandrels on his uh, lawnmower deck. And these things go out fairly frequently. So what we're going to do before he puts these new ones on is drill and tap a hole here. And uh, put a grease fitting in there. And then uh, he's going to, when he gets home, take the bearings are sealed. And uh, on each side of the bearing that faces downward or inward, he's going to remove the seal. So when you fill this full of grease, it'll go up into the bearings. So uh, I'm going to show you how we drill and tap this. There's three of them. Okay, this won't fit in my uh, vise, so I'm going to have to hold this. Drill it. We've got the uh, tap started. I just wanted to be sure that the hole was going to be big enough. And uh, the size of the hole I drilled was a uh, 1364. And I'm using a quarter inch tap. And the reason you wiggle it back and forth like this is to give the chips a chance to clear out of the threads you're cutting and uh, fall down in the hole. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Here's the uh, grease fitting. Let's see, what would you say that is? Bridge. Yep. Five sixteenths. Yep. Might even be metric. Isn't that a weird smelling oil? It smells like coconut. <laughs> I agree. Alright, that's just about seated now. This is a real cheap metal. I'm talking about the grease fittings. So you want to really ease them in there gently. And you want to rock it back and forth to make sure the threads are not going to strip out. There we go. That's as tight as it can get. All right, I've got uh, two more of them to do. And this will make your bearing mandrels, your bearings and your mandrels last uh, the life of the lawnmower. I've done this on all my lawnmowers. You can buy a cheap lawnmower, and do this to it, and this is the weak length of your mower deck. This and some of the, uh, they call them bearings on the pulleys, but they're not really bearings, they're just sleeves that are designed to fail very, very soon. And you can go to, uh, oh, some of the auto parts stores, some of the old hardware stores still have them, uh, pulleys with really good bearings in them, and, and uh, replace the cheap ones, and you could have a, a mower for far longer than the people that made it intended for you to have it. So uh, there we go. I got two more of these and we're done. I uh, just wanted to, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but if you did, were to do this to your bearing mandrels 
and uh, pull the seals off the inner side of the bearings. This is a commitment that you, I mean, it's a commitment. You have to keep these packed full of grease. Once you pull them seals off, the only way to keep the grease up in the bearings is to keep this pumped up full of grease. And I, I would say every 10 hours or so a use, just hit it with a grease gun. Uh, they'll be in a real convenient spot. Just be able to reach up on there and bump a few strokes of grease in there. But if you decide to do this, it is a commitment that you got to do often. But in exchange, you, you never have to do it again. You never have to replace these or the bearings. So that's it. Thanks for watching.